So I just thought I'd do a little update video for you, um, just to tell you what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're, today's 1st of April and spring really is in the air at the minute. It's still really, really cold in the mornings, but it doesn't take long for it to warm up and it does really warm up. It's nice. It's, um, we had a lot of rain the weekend, uh, last weekend, today's Friday. We had a lot of rain last weekend, but the later part of this week has been really, really warm. So everything's just starting to go, oof, you know, growing really well. <coughs> so what we, um, so look, yeah, update wise, getting busy. I've basically had every customer of mine from last year phone back to uh, let me come back and start working at theirs bar one. Um, so I will give them a call next week and just see if they, uh, if they want me to be back to them or not. I'm pretty sure they will. Just going past these cyclists, not killing anyone. So we, um, so this week I had, uh, had a bit of a predicament. I was, I actually lost a job. So I'll just tell you a quick story of what's happened to me this week and I'll put you in the picture a little bit. Um, my longest running property that I maintain um, in the last couple of years has changed hands. So the, the old boy I used to work for, um, he was my very, very first gar um, gardener customer that I picked up, it was my own customer, say about nine years ago. Um, I used to do all the maintenance there. Now, the old boy unfortunately has passed away and the son now owns the house and his wife. And they are very keen gardeners. So when they took over the place very kindly, they wanted to keep me on but they also said that they wouldn't need me to do quite as much there because they're very keen gardeners themselves. So what I ended up doing was for the last three or four years, I've been going there for four hours a week. And what I've been doing is simply just cutting the grass. Now, uh, I decided last year that I would change that when it got around to this time of year, I knew that I was gonna change because there's no point me going there for four hours where I can cut the grass in three hours tops. So I decided I was going to change a few things around. I spoke to the uh, the gentleman uh, at the start of this month, oh sorry, the start of last month, and said to him that this is what's going to happen. I'm going to come to you now for, um, it's just going to be a price job. Here's your price to cut the lawn. Let me know if you want me to carry on or not. And he texted me back a few days later to say that, you know, thanks for everything you've done, but we won't be worried about you anymore. Um, we'll take care of the grass ourselves, which was fine. You know, it wasn't, uh, you know, nothing fell out about it. And I said to him, look, that's, that's cool. What we'll do is, if you want me to, I'll do till the end of the month. And then from April, you can carry on yourself. Yep, no trouble. So anyway, this week was supposed to be my last visit there. And on the way to work, it was really strange because I've been going there for like every Wednesday for the last nine years. And it was a bit strange to be going that way for my last very time. I have two properties that I look after in that area. Um, and it's a little bit further away from where I live, where I normally do all my work. So the biggest problem I had was losing that one. I was going to end up having to sort of let go of my other one up that way because it's just no, it's not viable for me to go all that way for um, just one job. So unfortunately, I was going to have to sort of speak to the lady up there and say, look, I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I can't come all that way just for a couple of hours work. So, um, yeah, I cut the grass for the very last time there and um, it looked really nice when I left. I was just sort of, sort of thought, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's a shame I've had to let it go. Um, you know, a shame I lost it. And the wife came out and they were sort of all, you know, very much, you know, thanks for everything you've done. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I did say to them that I'd be going back past that way every now and again, uh, every fortnight, just to, you know, do the lady down the road maybe. And um, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on your garden for, you know, I'll, I'll score it out of five. And I did say to him, you know, because you let me go, I said, might be a five. Or I said, you know, might not be, might be a two or maybe a, but no, they, they know I was joking. So she did say, you know, oh, you know, how often do I come down to see the lady down the lane? And um, I said, you know, once a fortnight I'll come this way. And she, the wife just turned around to me and said, look, why don't you come and cut our grass once a fortnight? And um, I said, yeah, cool. So from me thinking I've lost a job, and actually in that meantime, uh, I'd picked up a couple of extra jobs as well, which was really nice because I wasn't losing anything. Um, and so, yeah, it went from that day, totally changed for me. It went from a day where I, uh, where I'd, 
I'd lost, well, really was gonna end up losing two jobs and um, totally changed for me. I ended up not losing any jobs and now I've worked my calendar around to, um, it's gonna work really, really well. You know, I go that way once, once a fortnight, um, cut the grass for them. And the, the customers themselves are really cool. They always give me something to do through the winter time. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased the way this week turned out. I've got to get myself in. One sec. And so the magic of time, now I'm four hours in the future. I've just finished on my last job. Um, so yeah, this week for me is really just um, been a real change around. You know, it started off feeling like well, I've lost a job and I'm going to have to ditch another one, um, and it and it just it totally transformed for um, for what it could have been. So yeah, I'm looking forward to um, getting into the spring. And I say the the when they accepted when the customers accepted the um, they wanted me to go there once a fortnight to cut the grass. They accepted the original price that I said. So I'll be going there on a price job now, which is um, you know much much better for me. I can be in and out. Um, I mean, I'm open to be in and out of there within sort of two and a half hours. I want to be back out again. So we'll see how it goes. So um, yeah, that's sort of it for for this week's little update. I'll try and do something like this every couple of weeks for you. I next video little talk like this will be on my roller mower. I have a small problem with it. Um, I will probably go over that in the next video though, it's, it's um, something to do with the actual roller itself, so um, yeah I'll go over that in the next video. Next video you're likely to see will be a little scarifying video that me and my dad done a couple of weeks back, which I haven't had time to edit for you, so um, I'm sort of on that at the minute. Anyway guys, I um, hope you're well. The hope joys of um, just got disconnected because I had a phone call, sorry. So um, yeah anyway guys. That's it um, for today's little update. Uh, have a good uh, weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Be good.